Hi, welcome to this introductory section of basic electronics. We are going to deal the subject with simulation to make it more clear for all of you. Now let me start with very basic fundamentals. Like supposing if I take a battery, I keep the battery here. Now let me zoom it to an extent so that all of you can see it better. And I take suppose a LED and I have an LED here and we all know that a LED requires always a series resistor. So I take a series resistor, I put a series resistor here and connect it here and let me put a switch also for that to see its function connect it this way, I connect it this way. Now all of us know that when we give this switch, this LED is going to glow. And so let me see that. So when I put this switch, the LED starts glowing. How? The current starts flowing from here through this, here, here, through the resistance, through the LED and then reaches here. That means it must start from this place and end at this place. This is called the path. Unless the path is complete, the load, whether the here is a LED, is not going to glow. So this is the very basic fundamental that we must know that the, how the path is complete. Let me repeat it again. That path means it has to start from the positive and reach at the negative. Right? Or in most of the electronic circuits, we do not have this shown like this. But then what we do is that we provide it a, a ground connection and give a ground here and here and give a ground here and here. And even then, this circuit is also same as what we had seen earlier. Now if I switch on this, it also close. It, the uh, operation is same. That means the current goes from here, 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 here. This and this point being common, that means they are internally connected. It goes this way, this way, this way and this way. And don't be under the impression that this current will flow to the ground. There is nothing like ground in electronic circuits. It is only a ward used in place of battery negative or DC negative. For example, if we delete this ground and if I give power, it doesn't glow because the path is not complete. It has to start from here, 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 here. No, it is not going anywhere. There is nothing like ground. It has to reach here because it is not reaching here. So the path is not complete. So this is the very basic fundamental of understanding how the path concept is achieved. Next we go over to some kind of very simple uh, operation that we all know is a voltage divider. What is a voltage divider? A voltage divider, for example, we take some 10K resistor and I put a 10K resistor here another 10k register here and connect it this way and connect it to this this way and as usual I said I must have a ground connection for the path to be complete I put the ground connection here and I give this to this and I know this is a 12 volt supply and we, I have connected two 10k registers in series like this that means Okay, let me now remove this ground to make you more clear understanding that okay, is the now the path is complete. I can see that the path will be complete only when I switch on this. Now let me assess as what will be the voltage here. Here means the moment I say here meaning that with respect to negative or with respect to ground. What we call we can also have a connection like this. We can show it this way. So if I say what is the voltage here, I mean that what is the voltage with respect to ground. Okay, let us zoom it still further more. 
okay right now let me take a voltmeter take a voltmeter I connect a voltmeter here and let me connect this to this place and connect this to this place as we know that this is a 10k resistor and this is a 10k resistor and my supply voltage is 12 volt and when I switch on this the voltage half the voltage will be here and half the voltage will be here so obviously this will be 6 volts let me see that when I simulate this yes I get 6 volts is it clear I get 6 volts here so because I get 6 volts here is just because there is a ratio of 1 is to 1 normally what you would have done in electrical engineering or electronics engineering what you read is that okay you say the 10k 10k is total 20k 12 volt divided by 20k is the current which is flowing then then the i into r this r is equal to voltage drop across this then i into r voltage drop across this all this is as far as the real calculation is concerned but in practical electronic circuits you must be able to guess the voltage guess the voltage in the sense that you should know as to what will be the voltage approximately here now if that was a simple calculation now let's go over to uh, say let me make uh, this uh, voltage okay let me make this register as say 8k right and make this register as 4k right now what will be the voltage here think in those terms only see this is 8k this is 4k that means this is two times of this the total ratio total is about 3 so 12 divided by 3 is 4 and 4 into 1 is 4 here 4 into 2 is 8 here that means this voltage will be 8 volts and this voltage will be 4 volts that's the way that we should understand now let's put it in this way and see yes so we are getting it exactly 4 volts here but we can see sorry so we see that it is 4 volts here oh it goes away to that side okay right so you can see it there is a 4 volt here so like that you have to calculate uh, in approximation as to what will be the voltage at a particular point so that is very important when you are handling practical circuits and you can't go into calculations of that nature actually in the marketplace you perhaps will not be able to get a resistance of 8k and a 4k it will be somewhere because their uh, resistances are at, uh, at particular standards so the market value will be about say 8.2k and the closest value to 4k is 3.9k 3.9k right so this is what the voltage now if somebody is asking you what is the voltage here you have to just guess it's not necessarily that you have to be very close to very very accurate but you can be very close to it I know because this 3.9k is really okay, close to about 4k and this is close to about 8k so it will be somewhere near 4 volts now let's see what is the voltage yeah voltage is 3.87 so this is what is that one has to understand the 